Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Optical Turnkey. Today we're going to be looking at two things, the first thing being ChatGPT. Now you may have heard loads about this, it's been in the news, it's been everywhere over social media and I've heard a lot of hype, I've been playing with it for a good few days now, having a mess around to see what it can do and how I can use it and utilise it. Now if you are a YouTube creator, it is going to be vital that you use a tool like this, it will save you so much time. If you've never looked at it, let's take a quick look at Jack Chat GPT, what it can do, how it can help you, and how I've been using it myself on YouTube. Let's get over to uh, chat.openai.com. Okay, so openai.com is where you will find Chat GPT. The link is down in the description if you want to have a look for yourself and uh, you can follow us along. Right, so we're going to head over here now to Chat GPT. Now you can see this is the basic, um, where the landing page, if you like, and you can see examples of what it can do here, capabilities and the limitations. Now this can be used for so many things. This this interface can write code. This can write you letters, descriptions. It's like the most amazing AI bot that I've ever seen in my life, and. I've never really been into looking at stuff like this, but I've really been into it the last sort of week or so. I've been looking, and this is one of the most powerful bits of kit I've ever seen in my life. So how could you use this? Now, as a content creator on YouTube, for instance, I'm looking for a description. I've just uploaded my video. I need a title for a video description and all the rest of it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to type in... I need a YouTube title and description for a video where the police unlawfully detain me for filming or filming in a public place. I am going to make a civil claim. There you go. So that gives you a rundown. You just tell it a rough rundown of what your video is, and that's literally all I'm going to tell it. Now I want it to come up with a title and a description for YouTube. Are you ready? Watch this. Let's hit go. So here it goes. It's started to fire out the title already. Unlawful detention by police for filming in a public place. My civil claim. There you go. So that's one title. Now you can even ask it to generate you 10 titles so you can pick from the one you want. And of course, you can change that around as much as you want. And if you find a good one, then you can go, yeah, do you know what? I'm happy with that. We'll take that title and we'll add it straight to our title on YouTube Studio. As you can see now, the description in this video, I document my experience of being unlawfully detained by the police for filming in a public place my lawful right to film. The police detained me without cause and I was subjected to unjustified restriction of my freedom. This video serves as ed evidence of the incident and I will be using it in my civil claim against the police department. I mean you can change that, it's a little bit Americanized. I hope that by sharing my story others will be aware of their rights when it comes to filming in public places and understand the importance of holding law enforcement accountable. I mean this is brilliant. This, all I've told it is a br brief rundown of the video. So already, you know, you, you can see how you can use that and I can even get it to change it. Can you change the wording of the description? There you go. That's it. I, I'm not happy with that. I want you to change it. Let's see what it does. There you go. And it's going to reword it in a completely different way. And this is just incredible. Um, you, you can even add that you, you want it to say, please subscribe or whatever you want it to say. And it will just come up with it. You can copy, paste, and you're well away. It's going to save you so much time. And I've already used this in my own videos and it has saved a lot of time. Now, the second thing I wanted to mention on here with um, using this tool for content creators is the latest thing is hashtags, isn't it? You see hashtags everywhere. Not something I've really looked into in the past personally, 
but I have started to get into using hashtags more and I have seen an increase in viewership on my channel whether that is using the hashtags or my videos are getting found easier now with this this is brilliant I can just literally say create me 50 hashtags on the subject of my video now watch this ready when you're trying to sit there thinking up different hashtags and you think oh it can take a while look at this look at all the hashtags it's bringing up which is going to be brilliant which is going to send more traffic to your video Look at this guys, unbelievable. So it is just going to spit out literally 50. All you need to do then is copy and paste all of those and paste them straight into your video. Bang, as easy as that. Now talk about take the admin out of your video, it's incredible that how this can work, you know. Um, this can you know, this can be used for everyday things as well. Now if you, you're needing to write a letter, say you've had a, um, an incident with a member of staff at Tesco's and you're going to write them a letter of complaint. You're not very good at writing letters and you don't really know how to word it. Watch this now. Write me a letter of complaint to Tesco customer services regarding a rude staff member at their London store. There you go. Let's see what this comes up with now, ready? I need a letter of complaint. Let's go. As I said, this is completely free to use at the moment, but I'm pretty sure very soon this is going to be a paid for service. So you're, they're in the testing stages at the moment. So, you know, get on board with it now because it isn't going to be long and they're going to be charging pro probably quite a lot of money to use this. Here you go. It's already generating the letter. Look at this. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, you can use it for letter replying. If you get lots of emails you need to reply to and you just need a quick response, you can even put the contents of your email and just say reply to this, bang, and it'll, it'll just respond to the email that you've received, which is, uh, you know, it's just fantastic. So, again, if it's not something you have looked at, I would strongly, strongly push anyone to go and take a look at chat. GPT because it is a really seriously good bit of kit and if you are a content creator you'd be mad totally mad not to go over and have a look as you can see it is still generating the letter it did tell me a moment ago that their uh, the servers are under a strain at the moment I think there's a lot of users jumping on using this so it is a little bit slower than what it would normally be but nevertheless it's gonna write you a letter much quicker and bring up hashtags, descriptions, titles for your videos much quicker than you'd be able to do yourself. So, you know, this is all browser based. You can just jump straight on. It's fantastic. I'm sure you can use it on your um, on your iPads and tablets and phones. I'm sure it is available on there too. But I haven't tested that, so don't mark my words on that. So if you do want to have a little look at ChatGPT, all you need to do is go down into the description. The link is down there where you can find the access for that. Or you, it's a quick sign up. It is absolutely free to use at the moment. So get yourselves on there, have a look, have a play around with it and see what you can utilize it for, for your channels and your everyday life. Right, next we're gonna take a look at voice mod where text can be converted to music. Let's have a look. After Cole asked me to sing the song To remind you all to hit that like button Have you not done that already? Why not? Right, so next we're going to head over to uh, this piece of software now. Uh, it's called Voice Mod. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. I've only just downloaded it. It's available on your phones and things like that as well. So I'll put a link down in the description where you can grab hold of this. And uh, all you need to do is click on Generate Song Free. There we go. And then it opens up into this little interface. And what it'll give you, it'll give you a list of songs that you can select. There aren't many on here at the moment because this is just like a beta testing stage. Free creations for a limited time. So they are going to make this a chargeable service down the line. So if you want to have a play with it now, I suggest you do so. 
Again, like I said, the link is down in the description if you want to grab yourself a copy of this one to have a play around with. Right, with this, what this will do, this will generate text into music. So you can select some of these songs. Let's have a little listen to some of the songs that we can select. La, 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 la. So as you can see, there's a good selection there, just to start you off anyway. So what we're going to do, we're just going to select this song here. There we go. Then you've got a selection of voices that you can choose from as well. So your singer, choose your singer. So let's have a listen to some of the various voices available. La 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 la. Cool. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go with Chloe here and uh, we'll select Chloe's voice. So I'm just going to type in some random lyrics and uh, see what we can find. So we'll just do optical la 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 la. I'm going to play around to see what this sounds like. Hit that subscribe. La 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 la. Ooh, la, ooh, la. It's right, it's just playing around with it, see what it comes up with. So let's uh, create song. Let's see what this is going to come up. I'm in the queue now, it's just going to generate that track for me. There we go, recording 100%. So we're going to get to have a little listen to how that's come out. God knows what it's going to sound like. But again, you can see, it gives you an idea of what this software can do and you can sit, play around and get the music right and everything else. But yeah, this is what I've created so far. Oh my God, I think I've created a hit. That's not bad actually, I'm quite impressed with that. So, you know, there, there's one. I mean, you can always change that around. You can change all aspects of it. If you're happy with how that sounds, you can just literally save that. Let's try it with a, try a different voice. Yeah, we get on with a, a different voice that we'll try a different song after and then see how we uh, get on. But again, this is just a quick run through to let you see what this is capable of doing. And maybe you can use this as part of some of your YouTube videos as well. And, you know, have a play around and see what you can create because it is good fun. And I do find myself sitting here for hours and hours at end just like searching different things as I have been doing with the chat GPT. And today I've been sat here most of the afternoon playing around with various uh, tunes on here, which I will play for you in a second. Some of the tunes that I created with this that I'm going to be using on my channel going forward. So with this uh, now created this one, let's have a little listen and we're going to try one song after that and see how we get on. There we go. Nice. Okay, so it's quite, you know, it's not bad, it's quite decent. If you can work out some decent lyrics and work out what you want to do. I'm going to try a completely different song. Let's try Hallelujah. So, let's jump. Okay, so we're all familiar with that tune, so we're going to change it to that. And click next. And we'll go with Chloe again. She's got like a pop voice. So we'll go with that. So let's try this. Oh, Tickle turnkey, key, not turkey. Just see how this is gonna sound. I've got no idea to be honest, but just playing around with it. Let's just see what that sounds like on its own. Create song. You see, you can always add and remove text to it as well, which is a great thing about this 
this piece of kit that they've introduced and like I said AI is going crazy so it's now's the time to start looking into it finding out about it don't fight it you know you've got to engage with it and it's going to be part of all of our lives which it pretty much is now on a daily basis so let's have a little listen to that Okay, yeah, not brilliant, but yeah, you, 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 you get the gist. But yeah, so that's a brilliant bit of kit that you can use, probably introduce it into some of your content if you are a content creator. Um, as I said, thanks for watching today. Um, I just wanted to have a quick run through if you haven't had a look at these things before and um, something that you are interested in just having a little dabble in, like I was. So that is pretty much it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to play out some of the uh, creations I've made on this this afternoon and uh, that I'm going to say goodbye to you all. Thanks all for watching, don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one. Here is some of my creations, enjoy. Optical asked me to sing the song to remind you all to hit that like button have you not done that already why not this is optical turnkey oh you know it's good to it i hand it subscribe and work with the video Journey, not turkey, turkey, on a journey, subscribe and do, stay right here.